Brian over here. So glad to see you again and thank you so much for watching my video. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about Lightroom. I use Lightroom every day for my work and I thought it would be a great idea to help you improving your editing skills. There is so many features on this software and many of us do not even use or know half of them. So today it's five tips on Lightroom that you didn't know about and that you are going to know. Let's get started with number one. Number one is Autotal. This is a great way to begin to edit your photos, especially if you are new to Lightroom or if you don't know anything about the software. Come next to Exposure on the right hand side corner and just above it, click on Auto. You will notice that to correct your exposure automatically, drop the highlight and boost your shadows. So even though it's not gonna be your final edit, this is a great way to start. Auto turn, tips number one, moving on to tips number two. <music> tips number two is resetting. Of course, you could go and click at the right bottom corner and click on reset, but this will reset your image right from the beginning. But sometimes you've done a ton of adjustment and you only want to reset few settings without affecting the rest of the image. Say for example my highlight here and I want to reset it to zero. Double click on the highlight name and boom, it reset it to zero. And you can do the same for the contrast or any of them. Click on the name and reset it to zero. You are good to go moving on to number three. Tips number three, grids overlays. It blew my mind when I saw it and I still wonder how I'd missed it before. Normally, if you want to crop a photo, you will click on the crop icon. Let's try to click on R on your keyboard and the letter O and continue cycling through the letter O. You're gonna see a bunch of grid overlays to help you getting different type of composition. And my favorite one is the one where you can get all different kind of dimension, 4x5, 5x7, 2x3, to show me how the photo will look like if I wanted to crop it for the specific ratio. Once again, click R on your keyboard and keep scrolling with the letter O to find the best composition for your image. This is tips number three. Moving on with tips number four. We are talking about lights out. And this one is my favorite one. Click L on your keyboard and it will isolate the photo that you are working on and dim the background so you have a better perspective of your work. Click twice on the letter L and it will isolate it even more. This is a great tool to sit back and just to think about what you could do better or just admire the work that you've done and congratulate yourself. This is tips number four. Moving on to tips number five. Last tips of the day, level out. Level out. So you took these beautiful photos, this beautiful landscape, and it's a little bit on the right, or a little bit on the left, and you want it to be striped. Yes, you can. Yes, you could click on R on your keyboard and try to rock that photo left and right, or you can simply click on angle and draw a line and it will fix it for you. It's just a little bit more precise and some people don't like when it's not perfect. I get it, I get it. All right, guys, so this was my top five Lightroom tips for you. I hope that you have enjoyed it. And if you did, don't forget to smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet. And I will see you on the next video.